Hey, today I'm going to be showing you how to install package files in the later versions of Shad PS4. So if you've been following Shad PS4 for a little time now, you'll realize that in the last few versions of it, we've no longer got the option to go to file and install package files. And that's got a lot of head scratching. So we're going to go through that today and I'm going to get you up and running with package files installed into the latest versions of Shad PS4. Now, before I start the main guide, let let me just give you a bit of a tip just here let's just say that we've got an older version of shad or even a newer version of shad and it's not open up you'll get the terminal window pop up but the actual emulator doesn't show at all so what we're going to do first of all then to get rid of this problem is just go into our c drive so os and my c drive we're going to go to the users folder we're going to go to the system folder, which is Jamie in my case, and we're going to find a folder here known as app data. If we go in there, we're then going to go into the roaming folder, and in here, we're going to find Shad PS4. If we delete this folder, delete, gone. Now, you should find if you do have that problem where it's refusing to open, if you go to open up the program again, once that app data folder has been deleted, then it should be working fine. So we're going to get on with the main guides then. So we're going to need two copies of Shad. So if we go over to the website, shadps4.net, we're going to first of all download the latest version. As I'm recording this video, this is 0.11.0 QT version. If I go to download, next thing I'm going to do is go to the version just here and I'm going to select an older version. So for this, I'm going to use 0.7.0, which in history, this version allowed us to install package files. And it was simpler days, really. So we've got these on my desktop and I've also got a game, Rayman Legends, which is in dot package. What we're going to do is right click new folder and we're going to call this folder old and we're going to create another folder new folder and I'm going to call this one new. So within the old folder I'm going to drag and drop the older version of Shad PS4 which I've just downloaded and the newer latest version into the new folder. Inside the old folder I'm going to extract Shad PS4 and it straps here. Of course, I'm using WinRAR to extract these. Once we've done that, I can now delete the zip folder. We no longer need that one. And we're gonna do the same in the new folder. So we're gonna extract the latest version of Shad, WinRAR, and it straps here. And of course, we can now delete the zip folder. So what we're gonna do first of all is go into the old folder. And in here, I'm gonna open up Shad directory to install games well what i'm going to do is just pop a new folder on the desktop new folder and i'm going to call this one install but you can create this folder wherever it's convenient for you so directory to install games browse desktop install select folder and i'm going to go to ok and here we go, here's Shad PS4 version 0.7.0. Now, of course, if we go to file in the older versions, we can see install packages just here. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to install packages and I'm gonna look for my Rayman package game. Here we go. So what we're gonna do is, of course, install it to that install folder that I've just created and okay. Okay, and game successfully installed, and here we go. So we've now got Rayman Legends installed in the older version of Shad PS4. If we go into the install folder, as we can see, we've now got the game which has been extracted into its own folder, which is very useful. So what we're gonna do next then is open up the latest version of Shad, Shad PS4, and here we go. We've now got the game which is also available in the latest version of Shad. Now, let's just say, for example, you find all this a little strange having two versions of Shad. So, of course, we no longer technically need the older version of Shad since we've actually got the game just here that we've extracted. So, what we're going to do then is just delete the old folder and delete. If we open up the new version, Shad, and here we go so perfect and this should run just fine now so if i double left click on the game just to test it
So the game is working perfectly and I was just selecting through the options there with my Xbox controller which I didn't actually need to configure but if we go to controls as we can see just here, this should automatically pick up the controller you're using. So if it doesn't automatically configure for you, we can actually map this out manually just by selecting each one of these buttons from the PlayStation 4 controller and mapping it out with the controller of your choice. And just remember, once you've done this, just to save your settings. Okay, so let's set up Rayman itself so it actually opens up in full screen. If I right click on Rayman Legends, game specific settings, create game specific settings from global settings. Just here, I'm gonna go to graphics, graphics device, and I'm gonna select my graphics cards, which is the RTX 3050. Display mode, I'm gonna wanna put this on either full screen or borderless full screen. I'm gonna go for full screen. Present mode, I'm going to leave this to Mailbox V-Sync. And if you've got HDR on your screen, then by all means enable that option. And once we've done that, if we just go to Apply and Save. Now, if I open up Rayman Legends, and here we go straight into a full screen mode. And that's it for today's guide, so hopefully I've cleared up some questions just there, which I've actually come across myself in the past as to why package files are no longer working in the latest releases of Chad PS4. I've also showed you how to extract the game, which is of course in my install folder, and there we go, very simple stuff. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content, as well as retro game reviews and many other things that I cover on this channel. Anyways, until next time, thanks for watching and stay retro.